Hi friends. Um, I want to share something with you that's uh, hard to even talk about right now. Uh, with the recent shooting in Florida, um, you're all aware of it. I mean, there's a shooting here all the time in the U.S. Again, this guy used uh, an AR-15, um, which is an assault rifle. I, I don't know. I grew up around guns. I don't know what else to call it, but an assault rifle. Um, as many of you have been, I'm sure you're just exhausted and worked up by this and we should be because it's horrible. Um, I just had to know, like in my state, what does it look like to buy an AR-15 assault rifle? I, I didn't know. I've never bought one. I don't own a gun. I have no desire to own a gun. And so this morning, um, I thought I'd find out and I cannot believe what I just discovered. I went into a gun shop at 10.02 this morning. Uh, it opened at 10. I was there two minutes after opening and I left 22 minutes later in 22 minutes I went from you know a guy who doesn't own a gun to I could have most likely easy walked out easily walked out of there with an AR-15 and a hundred rounds of ammunition what I learned was one I mentioned the guy I wanted an AR-15 he jumped all over the politics of it said I got exactly what you need he showed me a $399 gun so this is the best you can get and it's super cheap we talked, I BS'd a while, I didn't want to give away anything, and I, I tried to talk the talk, which extended that time. Then I asked him what the process is, and apparently in my state, there's no mandatory wait period for an assault rifle, which means, um, you know, I could have done my background check, which I don't have anything in my background, uh, so it would have came back clean. He said 70% of the time, the background checks that he does run are returned within instantly or within under 10 minutes okay so let's do that math real quick so i could have walked in there and walked out in under 30 minutes carrying an ar-15 assault rifle with a hundred rounds of ammunition but it's it doesn't stop there the reason i chose that gun shop the reason i went there is because i drive that by it all the time on my way to take my kids to school so before i left i just had to know and i looked it up there are at least 10 schools, 10, within under a five minute drive from that gun shop. Under five minutes from that gun shop, including a couple middle schools and a high school. So if you do that math, you basically, as an American in, in my state, in my city, could go from not even owning a gun to having an AR-15, and I just say 100 rounds, he probably would have sold me way more than that, to 100 rounds of ammunition or more, and in less than 30 minutes, maybe, and then in under five minutes, you're out of school. It's no wonder we have a problem. I mean, we can talk about mental illness and everything else, and this guy tried to. He said, man, people are blaming the guns in, in government because, because guns can't defend themselves. Now, it was hard for me to keep my cool because, damn it, my kids go to school right by there. How the hell are we supposed to keep our kids safe? When in under 30 minutes, most likely under 30 minutes, I'm going from not owning a gun to an assault rifle with 100 plus rounds, and I'm in, in a school like that. That's, where, that's the situation we have. Now, to make it even better, look at this. I said, hey, you know what? I, I, I don't know if I can afford this. You know, I'm not sure I got to talk to my wife, kind of had a story planned out. Look what they gave me. This is a thing I could fill out to actually get the gun financed, which means I could have gotten up to $1,200 worth of a rifle, ammunition, sights. He really recommended I get a laser sight because it's so much easier to hit targets and it's more fun, as he put it. I could have gotten all of this financed. I didn't have to spend a dime. As long as I have decent credit, I now have all this. And I didn't spend a dime. I have to pay it back within 120 days. Well, if I'm a school shooter, if that's my motivation, who gives a rip? So in my state, and probably in yours too, you can have people walking around in your community that if, whether it's fine if it's mental illness or somebody just goes off the deep end. And in my state, in my city, where our kids go to school and thousands and thousands of other kids go to school in 30 minutes, maybe 45 everything could change and you know i saw one politician saying you know how did this kid in florida even get the money for this for this gun he doesn't matter if you have decent credit you wouldn't even have to spend a dime 
Now, I, I should say the one restriction this gun shop did have is they had a sign up that said, if you smell like pot, we won't sell you a gun. Thank goodness, because, you know, potheads are the real crazy ones, apparently. So I say, share this with you because this is the world we live in. When you see someone who tries to push back on gun control or they try to say, you know, we don't need better laws, know this, you may live in a city just like mine where in less than maybe 45 minutes you're equipped with an AR-15 and multiple rounds to go kill multiple people with. How is that okay? I have, we have four kids in schools, in two different schools right now, one in high school, one in middle school, and two in elementary school. They're within less than five minutes of this gun shop. What about your kids? Are there gun shops around your kids? Schools? That's what, that is what our country has come to as far as our lax gun laws. This is what the NRA has pushed. This is what all of our buddies who are into guns, this is what they're okay with. It is not okay. This is not a safe place for any of us and certainly not our children. We have got to see changes. No one, I don't care if you're mentally challenged or not, no one should be able to walk into a gun shop, not spend a dime, and walk out in under 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes, with an assault weapon and ammunition within less than five minute drive from 10 different schools. Until this changes, our country will not be any safer. Our children will not be any safer. This is absurd and every time this happens, this is why. This is what we've come to in our country. This is why gun owners, we have to fight back. This, we have midterm elections coming up in November. My God, this is gonna be the easiest election. We have so much, we have so much to make a decision on. And I think it's an easy vote this year. We have got to get these people out of office. We have got to find a way to protect our kids from people who can walk in and walk out with an AR-15 like that. I hope you found this helpful. Share it with whoever, especially those of you in Iowa, especially those of you involved in politics in Iowa. We have got to have this change. It needs changed immediately. Or let's not ever talk about how we're trying to keep our kids safe because we aren't. This is absurd. And it's putting our kids at risk, just like the kids in Florida and all the other damn shootings that we have happen. It's like we're not even trying. And we need to. I hope this helps. Sorry for being yelly and fired up. I hope you understand. I cannot believe that was that easy. I hope you all are doing great. I hope your kids are safe. I hope your family's safe. And I hope we see this change happen soon.